Hey everyone, my name is Robbie with Galactic Marketing, and today we're just going to be talking about <clears throat> um, basically just Facebook Ads Manager, more of the advanced aspects of it. Um, I'm not going to go into how to post an ad on Facebook. I have a different YouTube video for that. That's pretty much titled How to Post um, a Facebook Ads Manager Ad. Um, it's also known as a dark post, but right now I'm going to be talking about how to actually sell someone. So after your ad is posted, you'll have to create it on a page, right? And you'll have to post it to a page. So I'm just going to go over to where that page is. And I'm actually just going to go home and I'm going to back out of this completely so you can see what it would look like if you just logged into Facebook, right? So if you just logged into Facebook, these are my different um, Facebook pages, right? For example, um, cable, TV, and internet, that's one of my Facebook pages. So we're going to go check out that home page here. Um, I have some notifications going on. Let's see what those are. Sometimes they're just comics or people liking the, the page, right? Um, sometimes they're just people sharing your link or liking your link. But you can see what's going on. Sometimes people don't really know what DMing is, like direct messaging. So they'll actually like write you very personal stuff, like their address and phone number in the comments section. So I always try and direct them over to calling me straight ahead or just moving straight into um, the direct message. So if you want to see who's inboxing you, right, um, you just select this over here, right? So this is who's direct messaging you. So this is just a private conversation between you and a potential customer. And and before you get into you know how good a salesperson you are and all that stuff and the type of picture you're gonna use, none of that matters. We're in America, so there's various people sp speaking various uh, languages. The first thing we want to know is do these people speak English, right? So for example, let's check out Martha Jimenez, right? Um, what I do before I really um, talk to people is I actually just hit view profile because um, I have a Spanish speaking team that I'll direct them to if I think they don't speak English right so what I'll do is I'll scroll through here and I look for comments that they posted or something they wrote themselves so far we seem to have a lot of Hispanic stuff in here a lot of Spanish speaker stuff uh, as far as the comments go the comments seem to be back and forth um, but mostly mostly Spanish right I haven't really seen too much that she's written herself these are really just shared comments so I, I would assume that this person communicates mainly in Spanish right so it's a good example there but there's a lot you can learn about people for example let's look at Kim Williams here I'm using her as an example because uh, let's view her profile I just click on it by clicking right over here right um, I love using this as an example because you learn a lot about a person. Remember, we're selling entertainment. To sell entertainment, you got to know what people are into. Right away, her profile picture, Green Bay Packers. She's into sports. So when I talk to her about cable, I'm probably going to be talking to her about sports. Hey, we got ESPN 1, ESPN 2. This is the package that you need to get to get that. Right? So I just kind of scroll through here. I, I can clearly see that it looks like she speaks English. Um, her comments here are, are obviously in English right so and she's sharing other comments that are in English so that's a pretty good hint that she speaks English so what I like doing is I like going over the about page really quick just learning a little bit about the person before I talk to them so for example um, sports right she's liking a lot of these different teams right not into the LA Dodgers but looks like she's into the LA Chargers right so Looks like she's a little bit into fitness, stuff like that. So I can talk about a lot of the sports related stuff and the advantage of having Spectrum and sports related there. She's into music. We can talk about the music channels we have. Um, what else? Movies. We can talk about on demand movies that we offer with virtually any package. And here's a dead giveaway that she's going to buy cable. Look at all the TV shows she likes and follows. That's not, not every person does this. You can easily tell there's no reason why you should be selling an internet only with this customer. She's obviously into cable TV. I mean, these are all cable TV shows, right? So you can talk about, and if, if you have a little bit of knowledge about product knowledge, you can talk about this show is with this package. This show is with that package. This this comes free. The office is on this channel. You know, So that will really help people understand what, what it is they're getting, and it will really help you get inside someone's head so you can sell them better. Um, apps and games. Uh, if, if I was dealing with like a young kid, like a teenager, and he was liking like Halo or... Or you know whatever the whatever the popular game is nowadays, um, I, I would definitely take advantage of that, right? Um, if I'm selling him or his mom or whatever it happens to be, and say, hey, if you're a gamer, you know you really want to upgrade your internet to our we have, we do a hundred megabyte minimum download. Um, 
she's into comedy, right? Kevin Hart, so we can talk about how we have the comedy channel. There's just like a lot of advantages to selling people here. Um, so first I want to go into how we sell them, right? The goal is to get them on the phone. You can sell people through DMing them. It, it, it is often doesn't go anywhere, right? It's much better. As a customer I closed earlier, it was very simple. Um, I have my autoresponder right here, which automatically responds with a very friendly message. And I, I linked it to their name, so it looks like I, I personally wrote that. I did not. It's just basically an AI that does that. But it says, hi, Kim, go ahead and just give me a call. That's, that's my goal. Why do I have that message? Well, let me show you. Every time you respond, it costs money. So every time I respond here, let's check out, well, let's look at my cost, right, on this on this ad. Actually, where my ad cost is right there. Per message that I respond, they're charging me $1.83. So I don't really want to do a whole lot of back, back and forth unless I really think I'm going to close this customer. So I want to give them just, the trick is to give them just enough information to be interested but kind of general enough to where if they want specifics, it's very obvious that they have to call you. It took me a few tries. I had to write her a second message here. This is me writing it, not, not the AI. I basically said, give me a damn phone call, right? In a very nice way, you know, and I, I mentioned here that I'm free now. But um, that's really the, the right way to approach it. What happens is, uh, we go to some of my older posts here. It was uh, not as smooth. Um, there was just a lot of issues in terms of me DMing people back and forth, and I was just getting nowhere and very frustrated. So if you're an experienced salesperson, you're new to online sales, um, you know, uh, you can DM back and forth all day, but often it gets you nowhere, right? The goal is to get the information that you need, which is name, address, phone number, and email. The great news is we've got the name, right? We often don't have phone number and address. People usually don't post that on their Facebook. Um, and we often don't have email, but at least we don't have to ask them their name. We know that much about them. So with that being said, um, once again, just to recap here is learn about your customer before you start speaking to them. There's a huge advantage to selling on Facebook and you can be very direct in who you're targeting, what you're looking for, and you can know so much more about your customer. For example, when you're knocking on a door, it always helps to look around a bit to see what their interests might be related to cable so that you can sell them. With this, you know right away what their interests are because you can view anyone's Facebook profile that you're talking to just simply by clicking on it like I just did here. Once again, we're on Kim's page. As you can see, I'm talking to a lot of customers. Oftentimes, I'm just trying to figure out, are, are these Spanish speakers or English speakers? Which rep am I going to give this uh, lead to, right? Um, and the cool thing is <clears throat> you can actually do this on your phone and you can do something called Facebook chat or Facebook call them. You can actually call them directly if their if their Facebook is linked to their phone number and you can talk to them without actually knowing their phone number. So I often try and call people too. I don't have amazing success with it, but some people do answer, do answer, answer which is extremely helpful. So that's just another thing that I love about it. Um, typically you have to be friends to, to call, but been a few times where I've called and I've gotten away with it so that's just one thing that really helps there um, but let's head over back over to my uh, home page there or my Facebook page here and just check on the messages um, sometimes when it gets slow I just hit refresh and it'll speed up because if you're doing you got a, if you got a very successful ad what happens is it, it, it'll lag a little bit depending on your internet connection um, which can be kind of frustrating right but it looks like I just got a new person here I got Matthew Borba Right here, um, he, he's responding with the typical, I'd like to learn more. Let's just confirm first he speaks Spanish before I respond in English. Uh, sorry, before let's confirm he speaks English before I respond in English, and it turns out he doesn't speak English at all. So lots of pictures, lots of pictures. Not a whole lot in English, okay. Uh, no, that's the mayor. Um, doesn't seem to be saying a whole lot of words. Okay, there we go. There's, there's some words in English. So this guy most likely speaks English. I don't really see a whole bunch of Spanish. I don't really see a whole bunch of Spanish. It seems that his main his main language is English. So I'm going to go back over here. I usually try something like, I'm free now. Just give me a call. And then... Do at and then I'll give them my number. Not that it wasn't obvious I didn't give them my number already, but some people just it takes a little bit of extra effort. 
or they feel like they're talking to a bot, but when you can be more personalized like that, um, I can check and see what deals are in your area and get you the best deal possible. Um, if we lead with price, we often get shut down. I've never just like texted a price or sorry, messaged a price to a customer and actually gotten someone to buy. Um, if they are in the DM game, which I which basically means they mainly want to communicate by uh, texting through through this messaging app. Um, what you want to do is just try and get basic information like, hey, I need your name, I need your address, I need your phone number, I need your email, um, and give them a reason why. Like, hey, I need your address so I can look up and see what's available in your area. Obviously, um, just Spectrum is available in the area. That's really all we care about, right? Because that's what we're selling. But um, they don't necessarily know that because once again, if you're being compliant, you wouldn't put Spectrum in the ad, right? Um, so just a few things to know about the ads in general while we're waiting for this guy to respond, if he does respond. And patience is a virtue in this game as well. Sometimes people respond back hours later, sometimes a day or two later. But the thing is, you already paid for those ads, so might as well hit them up. I've been hit up as, late, as a week later and people are like, yeah, I talked to my wife finally and we're going to do the deal. And it's like, well, so another thing I recommend, if you do sell a customer or you are pitching a customer, I highly recommend... If you're quoting them a price, right, like, uh, let's see where I'm in charter here, right, uh, well, that's not the best example, but let me show you if I were to quote a customer a price. You know, when you're at the end of the app, what I often do is I'll screenshot this so I don't forget what I signed them up for, and then I'll text it to them to quote them the price. So I'll have the whole breakdown, and that way if they're like, hey, Robbie, we decided to go through with it, right, I can look back at my message history and be like, oh, I already quoted them a price, I know exactly what to get them. I got all their information here, so I don't have to worry about signing them up again, you know. So I highly advise that if you get as far enough as a quote, um, you screenshot it to them. And also what I love about Facebook, um, for compliance reasons, you can never second guess. Th th they can never say, hey, you told me a cheaper price last time. Like, no, I didn't. The screenshot's right there. Or if they were called to, to complain about you or something and say, hey, Robbie, Robbie told me it was... It was $100, but it came out to 120 You can say, well, no, I got the screenshot right there. It's very clear the price that I told you was correct, right? So it'll protect you as well. So I just highly recommend doing um, that and leaving a paper trail of everything. Even if you close a deal over the phone, just go ahead and send that screenshot to the customer. The other reason I do it is quite simply, not every customer uses email or uses e emails frequently as we do. So they often miss the installation date. So I love just giving them that extra documentation, making sure that they know what's going on and that they see the install date. Because remember, the sale doesn't really matter. You can do sales all day long. We only get paid on installation. So yeah, those are just my tips and tips, tips and tricks for the week for selling online with Spectrum. Um, it's very easy to do. And once again, when you do ads, it's not just one ad. You're running a hundred of these things. Every zip code you can think of, try different things all day long. And it just doesn't have to be Facebook. This this video is specific to Facebook. There's a million other sites that work as well. This video is just mainly about Facebook. And this is one fast of Facebook. These are paid ads. If you don't have the money for that, go on a Facebook marketplace. If you don't know how to do that, I've got a separate YouTube video literally titled How to Post Ads on Facebook Marketplace. So there's a lot of free ads you can do as well. Right, and you just post the same ad for different cities. You'll have to change the picture because they don't like duplicate ads, but for the most part, it's very effective as well. But once again, one ad will not get you much. That's like doing one cold call or one knock on one door and then saying, hey, door knocking doesn't work or phone calls don't work. You have to do lots of ads to get lots of um, traction. And then for every 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever people you talk to, you're going to get X amount of sales. And as you get better, the ratio will get smaller and you'll be more successful. But it takes some time. Um, but for me, the more ads, the more contact I get with customers, the more chances I have of making a sale. Just like the more people I call or the more doors I knock, the higher the chance I have of making a sale. That's just the law of averages from that perspective. So once again, if you have any questions, just uh, reach out or call me or you can comment in the YouTube video below. But I hope this video helps you guys. Thanks.